What's up, YouTube? Capital G here talking about flip monsters and flip archetypes in this video and some of the problems and trials and tribulations that they find themselves having to face and just why they're just borderline unplayable in today's game and how Konami can kind of maybe fix some of those issues and at least give them a fighting chance in today's competitive meta. I don't know if you guys have actually tried some of the new flip archetypes, which is actually kind of surprising. There's There have been uh, two of them so far and we're only three booster sets into the Vrain's era we already have teen angles which uh, just came out in extreme force and then we had crawlers from circuit break i don't really like teen angles i think that they barely function at all i do understand they're not fully fleshed out yet they are an anime archetype and i believe that they have four more cards that have already been revealed that have yet to come obviously in the tcg crawlers i think like there's potential there and man i play it on my live stream there i try everything to get that deck to work everything under the stun I've tried Needle Sealing, I've tried Demise, Desires, I've tried making it 50 different trap cards in the deck and seeing if that works, and it always just kind of falls on the fact that they're just not fast enough, and there doesn't seem to be any other benefit for playing a mechanic that is just so woefully underpowered in today's game. Now, I want people to understand... I have a very hard stance when it comes to some of these older mechanics because I think a lot of people were just going to say they're too slow, they won't be viable, click the video off, damn cap. Could have saved you a very long time. That is, in my opinion, 100% untrue. I believe that if Konami tomorrow wanted to make a tier zero flip deck, they could do that. I mean, for people who think that flip monsters cannot be fixed, all I'm going to do is just point to shot alls and I'm going to say, well, what happened with shot alls? Because they came out and they were tier one and we all know that when Duos Alliance was released, the archetypes were so strong in there, they power creeped everything before them out of the game. That's how we got the Duos Alliance uh, meta. And obviously, Shadows went to win a YCS. In fact, they won the first YCS. I think it was Patrick Hoban off the top of my head who ran Shadow, um, Shadow Light Swords. Now, Shadows were a very unique situation because they were a flip based archetype that didn't have to rely on their flip effects obviously konami gave them a bunch of just really awesome things that adjusted them to power creep the fact that they could all activate in the graveyard the fact that they could not miss timing which was super important because not a lot of archetypes actually had that built into them they had an inherent uh, they had an in inherent resistance to removal to a lot of the powerful cards so you saw things like regeki and dark hole and you know torrential tribute like just completely fell out the meta game because of the existence of shadow so i don't want to believe that like flip is a mechanic that cannot be fixed because people also said that about rituals then we got fucking that cries and look what happened and one of the things that I think Konami could do to really help flip monsters out and flip archetypes especially, but I don't think that they're willing to do it, is they could build archetypes more similar to Shadows. One of the biggest reasons why Shadows were so successful when Duos Alliance came out, it wasn't so much that they were adjusted to power creep like they couldn't miss timing. It was really just the fact that they were a flip-based archetype. Like every single monster in the main archetype had a flip effect, except obviously the fusion monsters, but they didn't need to necessarily necessarily use them it was a nice utility and it gave them kind of like you know a two-sided blade that they could use against other decks if they were playing against a problem matchup or if there was a, a card on the field that they had a hard time dealing with something like a necros of unicorn or maybe an evil swarm ophion they could set dragon they could set squamata and they could deal with that and none of the other archetypes that i've talked about or none of the other new flip archetypes really have that and i think it's because that konami is a little afraid of creating Shadows 2.0. Now, I personally believe that Shadows have been power creeped for a very long time. Maybe if Construct was at full power and it was at three, it would be a little different. I think Shadows could still honestly just struggle, but I think that Konami still kind of is fearful of that. And even though they wouldn't have to make it Shadows per se, there's so many different mechanics out there that they could, uh, you know, maybe explore with. Like, imagine if they made a flip archetype where all the monsters had flip effects, but they also had maybe a Dark World or a Fable type gimmick where when they were discarded by some type of effect in your hand, then they got their special effects. It would mean that you could play them as a flip effect uh, deck, but you wouldn't be completely beholden to that. And it's one of the problems 
that flip archetypes have just in the context of being control decks because shadows in my opinion are still the only flip archetype in like the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh that you don't have to play as a control deck I think that everything else defaults as a control deck because right now if you're trying to match up against pendulum magicians and spiral you are not going to outspeed those decks with any flip decks in Yu-Gi-Oh so you might as well try to contain them and if you're trying to contain them you look at these flip archetypes like uh you know teen angles and crawlers the problem they have even in comparison to other things like paleo frogs outer guys hell you could even go back to zexel and mention something like uh the trap tricks archetype is they don't really have any proactive plays if you happen to go second worst case scenario what, what are you really doing you're just setting a monster you're giving your opponent so much time i believe that is turn three if you count turn zero that you're you're able to get your flip effect monster activated of your own volition and unless your opponent attacks into it so they don't even have any proactive plays where at least those other decks maybe if you're lucky with uh you know playing paleo frogs maybe you get lucky your opponent doesn't have any negation you open with a rodent toad and then a frog you make totally awesome you set a bunch of back row you somehow stall the game out like yeah this uh, you know the flip decks can do that but it's just exponentially hard the second thing and this is something that I feel like Konami just is, they, they've been really, really bad about this. I'm talking about since like the end of the GX era. And it's not even just exclusively to flip monsters. I, I talk about some of the other mechanics sometimes. Well, they're, they're, they're kind of like sub mechanics. Uh, flip would fall into this category. Uh, Union, uh, Spirit Monsters. I think I'm missing one. Gemini's is the fact is Konami really doesn't give these, uh, these kind of sub mechanics. They don't give them generic good cards. In fact, it almost seems like the only time konami even really acknowledges these things are when they're about to release uh, a new archetype right in fact if you look at the second half of arc v you'll notice that we got a new union deck we got a new spirit deck and we got a gemini deck and the only one that really was competitively successful was obviously the union deck abc but when you really think about abc was it because it was a union deck i mean it, it definitely helped i'm not going to say that abc didn't benefit from being a union deck especially with the field spell but i think it was really more so because like abc buster dragon is still by today's standards just absolutely nuts and you know it's a 3010 it can tag out and get his monsters back and then you can summon it from the graveyard it can banish stuff on your opponent's side of the field so i really think that abc was more of a product of its absolute like absurdity when it comes to its boss monster and the fact that all the pieces kind of floated the deck didn't really benefit from a bunch of like awesome legacy union cards and then when you look at like the union decks throughout the years none of them really benefited from abc's creation it's like when konami releases these sub archetypes now like if, if konami is going to release a brand new flip deck and you know cybernetic horizon it's like they'll only release cards that work with that archetype it's not it's like they never think well we just released a couple more flip card or a couple more flip archetypes just in you know the previous sets why don't we make some good generic flip cards that can actually work with all of our flip archetypes like i think that people would definitely like that for instance what if i just asked you what was the last really good flip support card that konami released that worked for a multitude of flip archetypes i mean could you even think of one because off the top of my head i'd probably be like book of eclipse i i guess because it puts everything face down i mean i don't really know if that counts because you don't want your opponent drawing like five cards in their end phase because most flip decks don't have the offense to kill their opponent immediately so i mean we might even be talking about book of moon maybe and who knows how long that card has been out. i'm just gonna say off the top of my head veronic guardian that's their that's an original dm set so you you understand what i'm talking about I look at a card like Ceasefire, right? Ceasefire seems like maybe something in a direction where Konami should go to, and it's actually interesting because Ceasefire was kind of uh, originally supposed to be an anti-flip card where, you know, in the original DM era, flip effects were incredibly powerful. In fact, the origins of the flip effect was supposed to be kind of a mechanic that gave you a safe way of getting your effects resolved with uh, with minimal risk. Uh, let's just say you were playing back in the Metal Raiders, you know, uh, Magic Ruler, um, maybe uh, feral servant type days and your opponent had maybe they had like a big uh, summons go on the field or something like that and you had, you know, your 1800 Legen. Yeah, you could equip it with an Axe of Despair and try to attack over them. But if you ran into a Mirror Force or if you summoned into a Trap Hole, you were pretty much boned. Uh, the flip effect gave you the ability to set your Man Eater Bug or set your, you know, Penguin Soldier and potentially get rid of that monster with minimal risk. There wasn't a lot of ways for your opponent to answer that because effect negation was just obviously so slim pickings back then. You probably would have had the Solemn Judgment in it. And I don't think anybody wants to do that. But the point that I'm saying is if you look at a card like ceasefire 
I don't understand why they can't make something like Ceasefire. Maybe a card that flips all face down monsters face up. You activate the uh, the flip effects at that point, then you probably need to give it a little bit of protection where maybe the flip monsters gain a thousand attack and defense and they can't be you know targeted until the end of the turn. Maybe probably a little bit of a bonus. Maybe you draw cards equivalent to the flip monsters that left your field during that turn. Like I think that that would be really good. The point that I'm making is that would be a flip card hypothetically if Konami made it that could fit in the teen angles it'd be able it'd be a staple in like crawlers it could fit in grave keepers if you want to play that like no matter what flip deck that konami decided to make they could put that card in pretty much anything and maybe if Konami did that, I think a lot more people would be excited to play some of these uh, flip archetypes they're releasing because I know a lot of people thought that maybe Crawlers would have a little bit of potential, but I haven't really found anybody who can actually say like they're a real hardcore fan of Teen Angles. I just don't think anybody is really interested in playing these flip archetypes right now. So yeah, these are just my thoughts. You guys share what you believe in the comment section below. I still think that flip is a mechanic that is worth saving. I think Konami can either give some of these archetypes like secondary ways of playing like they did with shadows or just give us some really good generic flip cards so anyways you guys leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on that notification bell for daily videos